Today I'm reviewing the Rapid Fire Edgeless Carbon Fiber Paddle from Kasaka Sports. They were kind enough to send this to me along with two others to review. So let's talk about the specifications and then I'll give you my thoughts on the paddle overall. So the paddle face material is made out of T700 woven carbon fiber. The core is a polypropylene honeycomb core. The paddle length is 15, 13, 16 inches long. The paddle width is 7 and 7 eighths inches long. And it's a 13 millimeter thick paddle. Uh, they say the paddles weigh about 8 ounces. This one came in at um, 7.9 ounces. The grip length is 5 and 1 eighth. And the grip circumference is 4 and 7 sixteenths. So like a lot of pickleball paddles in what I call the leisure sport category, this one does come with the neoprene cover, which is very nice. Uh, it does help to uh, protect it. And if you happen to buy one down the road that doesn't come with a cover, you've got a cover available for you. Now these paddles that they sell range anywhere from 70 to about $90. So these aren't exactly in the your first paddle that you want to buy uh, category. But if you're looking to try out an edgeless carbon fiber paddle, these are a good choice to get you started. So let's start with a few things that I um, found a little disappointing about the paddle. First of all is its durability. You can see here, and I'll try to zoom in on this, let's see if we can get it closer there, that the surface has started to wear off quite a bit on this paddle. I think it's been played with for about two months and the graphics are wearing off and the grit is, is wearing off as well in certain locations. Uh, the other thing too is for my hand, the handle is a little small, but other people may like a smaller handle. I normally put an over, at least one over grip on my paddles. So I can usually overcome that with even a second over grip. Additionally, despite this paddle being lighter than my Gearbox GX14, uh, this paddle feels heavier in my hand than the Gearbox does. It doesn't move through the air. My hand doesn't feel as fast with it in the air. So let's talk about the things that I do like about it. Number one, even though this is what I call, again, a leisure sport paddle, they did go through the process of getting it USA PA approved, which means you can play with this in sanctioned tournaments. A lot of the leisure sport paddles that you're finding on Amazon, they don't go through the approval process. They're just banging out, stamping out a bunch of paddles, hoping to make some money. They went through the process of actually getting the paddle approved, which I really like. Uh, the other thing that I really like is the price for a carbon fiber paddle that's edgeless. This is a low, low price. Under $100 for a paddle like that is going to be great. I think it's a good starter paddle if you're looking to try out an edgeless paddle or if you're looking to try out a thinner paddle like this one, you know, a 13 millimeter paddle. As far as playability, it played similarly to my gearbox, but it didn't quite have the touch of, of the gearbox. In terms of that, it did take me a little while to dial in my dinks, and it did take me a little while to uh, really get used to the paddle because this paddle is not as forgiving as my gearbox is. I think it's probably got more power than it, but I'm more of a control player um, and I try not to rely on power too much. So if you're a player that's looking into using a thinner edgeless paddle like this one, maybe you've seen some people playing with the gearboxes out on the pickleball courts, but the prices are kind of uh, shocking to you. This is a good way to get started with one of these paddles. For under $100, it's a great value, but you do have to understand that um, with that low cost come some compromises. Uh, the, the durability of the paddle, um, it's not as fast as a gearbox. And um, I mean, as far as the handle has held up and everything else, but you'll notice, a, you'll notice a difference in the way that it plays just because this is using 
just some older technology um, and the gearbox is using newer technology to help the touch and feel of the paddle. So that's the Kasaka Cosmic Fire Pickleball Paddle. You can get these on Amazon. There will be a link in the description to this video. And I've got two more paddles from them that I'll be reviewing for you that are coming up shortly.